Hey, how's it going friends? Josh Saring here again. In today's episode of Building the Garage Studio, I'm gonna be putting in a bookshelf that's not actually a bookshelf, it's actually for gear, and uh, the top level is gonna be, like, you know, you're gonna see it in my YouTube videos, so it's gonna be like, uh, decor that I haven't even figured out yet. Uh, I've asked my wife Stephanie to uh, design a shelf. What you do is you pick some of your interests and you kind of throw them in. And I said uh, basically pick five things that are that remind you of me and hopefully that'll all work out. I have no idea if it will. But uh, it's, a, it's important because it's gonna be in the background and it's kind of a, just a, an aesthetic thing but it is important. So I'm gonna be adding some odds and ends to the studio this week, and then I'm gonna be putting up the backdrops, uh, the backdrop hangers and the backdrops, just two backdrops, two paper, seamless paper backdrops up here behind me. And like I said in the last video, if you check that out, I'm a little stressed out about because I, I know there's nothing to fasten them to other than drywall. So I'm gonna have to use anchors on every screw and I'm probably gonna put about six to eight screws on either side so the thing just doesn't <laughs> come falling down whatever victim happens to be standing right here at the time. So I have to make sure it's all secure and I may actually, since there's an access panel, I may actually go up in and put like some two by fours and stuff once I figure out the location. So thanks for stopping in and checking this video out. Let's get started. Okay, so believe it or not, what I'm about to show you is a total of 12, 24 by 24, two feet by two feet, two inch foam panels, and 12, 24 by 24 by three inch panels in this little box. So, how fun would it be <laughs> to time lapse this and watch it expand? So that's what I'm going to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next episode, I'm going to be installing acoustical foam. I'm still waiting for it to show up. So I'm, I'm gonna be installing the, the acoustical foam in the problem areas of the studio. I'm probably gonna leave this area here completely like live-ended, meaning uh, there is a rug here now, a full width of the room rug, and that happens to be grabbing most of the the bounce, I am sitting pretty close to the floor right now, so it's, it's grabbing a lot, and I have a blanket up behind here that you can't see. So I'm gonna be strategically placing the acoustical foam around the room, mostly where the computer is, because that's where I'll be doing like tutorials, and off to the center, I'll be doing the talking videos like this, and I'm planning on making, like it's called a gobo, uh, to put behind, right now I have blankets, to put behind the microphone and the camera to kind of catch what's going out into the room if I want to sit here. Uh, it, it, it seems to be working well with the blankets, but I want the actual acoustical foam uh, on a backer, a nice backer that I can put on stands. So that's what's going down in the next video. Please subscribe and tell your friends. 
And remember, create, share, repeat, and keep it awesome. I'll see you next time.